Right. These Gritstons, that they haven't got much room to deliver. Um, I've had to assist in the first birth, uh, and I'm gently uh, bringing the lamb forward. It should just be twins. They've been scanned for two. So what I'm going to do now is, to make sure the head follows, I'm going to put a rope round each of the front legs. And then, uh, um, and then I'm going to cup the head and gently pull on the ropes to make sure the head is following. Because if you just get the two legs and pull, the head can quite easily flip to, flip to the back and then you can't get it out. So you've just got to be patient, gentle, steady, and then we should have a, a good result. But you never know we land it. So she's already had one, has she? She has already had one. So, got both legs with ropes on there. Hook it round my foot. That's freeing my hand up just to uh, to make sure the head is gonna follow. The head's twisted a little bit. So I'm just gonna twist it back round the lamp. That's it. So the head's not following properly. The lamb's slightly twisted, you see, so I thought this might happen. So what's the second rope for, Dave? I'm going to put it around the head, because the head's not following. The problem is, you've only got so much time before you lose. Don't pull it in. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So. All I needed was Ruth to pull on that rope, ever so gentle, because remember, it's round the little lamb's head, um, just to pop it through that, that uh, uh, you know, the, the cervix or the, you know, the hips. Um, and then once the head's through and the two legs are through as well, it's plain sailing, out it comes. But uh, it's always a worry when you're doing things like that. And is the U going to be all right, Dave? She's... The U is going to be fine. There, there wasn't much trauma with the U. It's, um, you know, it was just the position of the lamb. The lamb kept on twisting its head around and not letting me uh, deliver it. Without these lambing ropes, I wouldn't have been able to deliver that lamb. Uh, I used the smaller ones on the legs, but you can use it for the head as well. So you just, you, sometimes you have to put the ropes on inside the sheet. Uh, but sometimes you can bring the legs out, put them on, and then pop them back in. Depends on your technique, really. The bigger blue rope, it's the first time I've used that this year. Uh, we don't do this technique very often. Um, I use that to go around the, the lamb's head when the head's not following. Sometimes they keep twisting the head round and it just won't come through the birth canal, if you like. Um, so put that round the head. Ideally, that bit goes through the lamb's mouth. So the mouth's open when, when you're bringing it out. Uh, sometimes there isn't time for that and sometimes you can't quite get it. So on that occasion, I brought it, I just needed it to pop through and then we didn't have to put any more pressure on that. So uh, again, without the blue robe, we wouldn't have been able to get the lamb out alive. So I'm really pleased how it went. Um, just need the mum to stand up now and. Uh, she's going to be good and she can feed her lambs.